I just wanted to get on here and open up about my life the last couple months. Straight out of private school and into the world of drill rap, Lil Mabu has taken the internet by storm, spitting rhymes about fighting cops, robbing jewelry stores, and wild escapades. But behind the tough talk, Lil Mabu is actually Matthew Peter DeLuca, a privileged graduate of the prestigious Collegiate School in Manhattan, where annual tuition costs $60,000 and alumni include generations of Vanderbilts and Kennedys. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. If you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 15, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message, good luck. Lil Mabu lives a lavish life while singing about the thug life. At just 19 years old, Lil Mabu lives in luxury. His family owns a five bedroom, five bath condo on the Upper East Side, as well as a sprawling mansion in the Hamptons. Combined, these properties are worth nearly $12 million. Yet, his lyrics paint a very different picture, one of the gritty streets and violent confrontations. Drill rap, known for its raw portrayal of guns, drugs, and violence, has many young listeners. Tragically, this genre has seen real-life consequences. Last month, 26-year-old drill rapper Julio Fulio was shot and killed in Florida. And after this, many people called for the ban of drill rap from social media, as it encourages brutal rivalries that lead to a violent end. Lil Mabu's track are all cap. In his track, No Snitching, Lil Mabu raps about attacking police with a baseball bat, while the accompanying video, which has amassed 9.1 million views on YouTube, features a staged jewelry store robbery. In Wicked Witch, he drops misogynistic lines about women, and in Throw, he dramatizes a shootout that leaves him wounded. No matter what he shows in his music videos, truth is that Mabu's father, Peter DeLuca, might have more street cred than him. Peter is a Manhattan funeral director with a colorful history involving legal battles, a rare New York City concealed carry permit, and even a punch to the face. Peter DeLuca's cameos in his son's work add at least a little more authenticity to his game. Understandably, not everyone at his school was thrilled with Mabu's gangland persona. One parent lamented, If this was any other child who did not have a rap career, they'd be expelled and they would never be heard from again. Collegiate used to be Latin and Greek and math olympiads, and now it's TikTok. The parents argued that the school is bending its rules and standards for a student with a public persona, which sets a dangerous precedent. Several parents have even voiced their concerns at PTA meetings calling for Mabu's expulsion. They believe that allowing him to stay would undermine the institution's values and send a message that wealth and fame can excuse inappropriate behavior. Despite the backlash, Mabu's fans argued that his music is a form of artistic expression, that he should not be penalized for his creative endeavors. Lil Mabu was actually an exemplary student. After his controversy, many fans want to know what kind of student Mabu was. Unlike many rappers who often recount tales of their unruly school days and the trouble that led to their expulsions, Lil Mabu stands as an exception. The stereotypical narrative of rappers is filled with stories of misconduct and rebellion, starting from school, contributing to their rough personas, and sometimes leading to their removal from academic institutions. In stark contrast, before embracing the thug life persona, Mabu, and back then he was just Matthew DeLuca, was known for a more wholesome endeavors. In a Facebook video promoting pediatric cancer research, he shared, My favorite thing about Kids Walk for MSK Kids is getting together with friends and family to support such a wonderful cause. As a middle schooler at Buckley, another elite institution, Mabu even earned the prestigious Headmaster's Prize for Strength of Character. This exemplary academic and personal record was another reason why he was able to complete the collegiate. His history of good behavior and strong character stood in total contrast to the typical image of a troublemaking rapper. Mabu's clean record was simply too good for the school to ignore. Eventually, he finished school and enrolled in the prestigious Emory University, which again brought him to the limelight. The Viral Gunshot Incident 
Despite his tough guy image, Lil Mabu is far removed from the realities of street life. A recent incident highlighted just how distant he is from the world he raps about. While filming the music video for Big Dog Shit in Atlanta with Lil RT, Mabu got visibly spooked by the sound of a gunshot in the distance. The security guard accompanying him had to reassure him to stay calm. Though the shot sounded far away, it was enough to unsettle Mabu. Whether this moment was staged to make him go viral remains to be seen, but it certainly underscores how out of place he is in the gritty world he portrays in his music. Lil Mabu's dissing others' rivals. People believe that since Lil Mabu lacks real rivals, he resorts to collaborating with others to diss fellow rappers. His latest partnership with Lil Baby is rumored to include shots at Gunna, who faced backlash for pleading guilty and providing information in the RICO case. Within the hip-hop community, Lil Mabu isn't taken very seriously. Some view him as a leech exploiting their genre for fame, while others see him as a troll capitalizing on internet trends. Many critics outright dismiss his talent, leading to constant waves of hate. However, Lil Mabu seems to embrace this negativity, as evidence in his track Underdog Song from his new album Young Genius, a nod to his online antics. The song marks the first collaboration with Lil Baby, but it falls short of expectations. Mabu's auto-tuned vocals are grating, and Baby's contribution feels routine. The buzz around the song stems from speculation about Lil Baby's potential diss at Gunna, with lines like, How you switch up on the bros, I can't F with those, knowing that they told. Even with relentless criticism, his strategic collaborations and the resulting buzz keep him a contentious yet prominent figure within the rap scene. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below, do you think Lil Mabu should sing about violent drill scene or not? Let us know your thoughts in the whole video below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all our future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.